Hello, uh, my name is Don Dickerman, and uh, some of you have read our books. Uh, obviously, you're on our website or, or YouTube. Uh, we want to answer some questions today. This is my friend Laurie Bradway from uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And Laurie came here earlier this week uh, to experience deliverance and to learn more yes. about it. Yes, happy to be here. You, you, what are some common questions that come to you or that have come to your mind? Oh, a lot of questions came to mind, and it all started with this. Um, found Don on the Internet, and um, once I did, quickly bought this book, read it in less than 24 hours, had a number of aha moments, um, and as soon as I finished the book, called the office and scheduled an appointment to come in for deliverance, and I am so glad that I did it. I've been so blessed to be able to spend the entire week with Don and his staff, gracious, gracious people, and genuine, very genuine too. And so I had some questions that um, have come up, and we're just kind of sharing those with you today and hope that you'll be blessed by them. Um, one question that's, that's come up is, what does it mean that Jesus gives us authority over serpents and scorpions? Uh, that, that is a common question. And uh, I, I've read a lot of comments about people describing that, that particular verse. But Jesus gave to the disciples and to the 70 and to us authority and the scripture says authority to tread i'll just read it it's a luke um, luke ten nineteen says behold i give unto you power mm -hmm. to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing by any means shall harm you well what are serpents and scorpions the obvious answer he's referring to demons but uh what we find in ministry it's all demons are fallen angels. They were all created with a holy purpose. They were given creative names. For instance, Lucifer, the name Lucifer means light bearer. But when he rebelled against God, he's now the prince of darkness. Mm -hmm. Same way with the angels that followed him in rebellion, whatever their creative purpose was, they now do the opposite. If God created them, for instance, to minister peace or intellect or hope, whatever, as a demon, they steal it. They're doing the opposite. Yes. Same way with health and sickness. Uh, but what I found out after doing this uh, 25 years or so is that all the demons also manifest as, as a type of creature. Um, some of it are, are mentioned in, in the Bible, especially the book of Revelation, uh, where the, the, the demons are released from the, from the pit. And they're described as creatures. Yes, not Horrible. very pleasant, yes. Yeah, and so what we found is when we address a particular demon, one of the things we command them to do is to reveal what type of demon they are. They're serpents. They're scorpions, they're fish, they're uh, alligators, they're Eels. dragons, they're mm. roaches, they're rats, they're bats, they're always something. And so it's interesting that Jesus said, I give you, he are, he, of course he knew that, but when he said, I give you power to tread on them, uh, he gave us authority over them, demon powers. And so when he sent out the 70 and the 12, that's what he told them to do, is cast out demons, heal the sick, raise the dead. And they're like, you know, I'm a rookie. I don't know how to do this. Yeah, they were quite excited about it too. Well, yeah, <laughs> and they came back after doing that and they said, even the demons are subject unto us in your name. And he said, I gave you that authority. Mm -hmm. That's we have, we have that authority because yes. he gave it to us, and uh, what what's interesting about doing a deliverance session uh, is you run into all kinds of demons that uh, actually some people see them in nightmares. 
Uh, children see them in night terrors, uh, creatures. Sad, yes. And uh, so it's more than just saying demons. It's a particular kind of demon. Uh, when, when I run into a, a demon power that manifests as a serpent, first thing I command him is, are you a constrictor mm -hmm. or do you have venom? And that, I find that to be interesting. The constrictor many times obviously binds, but it can, be, it can be high blood pressure. It can be digestive problems. It can be choking problems. Uh, there's, there's serpent constrictors, demons. The ones that have venom, most often their venom is lust or, or fear. Uh, but it's more than when Jesus said, I give you authority over serpents and scorpions. It's different types of demons. And so we tread on them. Uh, we don't fear demons. No, no. And you know, the thing that surprised me too is the consistency that you have seen over the years in these same types of demons yep. and what they've done consistently over and over. And the candidates that come in, they don't know from no. one to the next. You know, right. from one candidate that you've had 10 years ago to the one that you just had yesterday. Yeah. It's the same exact demon doing the same exact same thing. Same thing. Yeah, they, we actually have collected uh, over the years over 100,000 names and functions of demons. I saw it, yes. Uh, yeah, you saw it. Yes. Uh, but also, not only did, did she see it, she saw it in operation. I witnessed, yes. Uh, a, a lady going through deliverance. And Numerous, yes. A, a particular demon uh, would give his name. Yes. I said, well, what type of demon? What do you do? Well, that's the bottom line is, uh, and I found this, like, we approach this like a courtroom of, of uh, authority where we, we, I become the attorney, the prosecuting attorney. I'm prosecuting demons, but I'm also representing the candidate. And so we, we always insist that they speak truth before Jehovah God. Now, obviously, they're liars. Jesus said they were liars. But I found out over the years they won't lie to Jehovah God. You know what the most amazing thing that I found? That it's nothing to be afraid of. Yeah. Nothing for the candidate to be afraid of, nothing for the person that's delivering it to be afraid of. Yeah. Well, It's freedom. Yeah, and they're spirits. We're the ones that have been given authority. And we're the ones yes. Jesus died for. Yes, yes. So, uh, no, we don't fear demons. We tread on them. Amen. Um, Amen. And, and, you know, another th thing that's interesting, Lori, uh, what we call the Great Commission, when Jesus said, uh, these signs will follow them that believe, <laughs> the first thing he said is they shall cast out demons. He did. That was the first thing. Second thing he said was they'll lay hands on the sick mm -hmm. and they shall recover. But... In the church today, we go right past those two things. To we, we want the gifts. We want a gift so people can see how spiritual I am. Yeah. Uh, but no, casting out demons is the uh, first thing he said would be a sign. And, uh, and we see it. We see it. Uh, she's, she's a picture <laughs> of, of freedom. And... Uh, uh, and she'll be taking it back to Charleston. <laughs> or Glory, where? hallelujah, yes. And as far as I can spread it, yes, yes. around the world, yes. Amen yes. and hallelujah.